I could not have written Ready Player One if I had not grown up on a steady diet of Steven Spielberg movies. It would have been a different story or I might not have written it at all. His work is woven into the fabric of my life. Everybody, I think, who dreams of making movies dreams of getting to work with him. It's a dream come true. Within minutes, law enforcement was on scene, as well as two school resource officers assigned here to the school who immediately encountered the subject within just minutes of this report going out. Once they encountered the subject, the subject immediately surrendered to these officers and he was taken into custody. It's a little matter we need to talk about. You have money, right? Well, forget it. No, not money. Gray's Sports Almanac. You heard him, girls. The party's over. Start talking, kid. What else you know about that book? First you tell me how you got it. How, where, and when. <laughs> All right. Take a seat. Sit down! November 12th, 1955, that was when? November 12th, 1955, that was the date I went back... That was the date of the famous Hill Valley lightning storm. You know your history? Very good. I'll never forget that Saturday. I just picked my car up from the shop because I'd rolled it in a drag race a few days earlier. I thought you crashed into a manure truck. How do you know about that? My father told me about it. Your father? Before he died. Oh, yeah, right. So there it was, minding my own business. This crazy old codger with a cane shows up. He says he's my distant relative. I don't see any resemblance. So he says, how would you like to be rich? So I said, sure. So he lays this book on me. He says, this book will tell me the outcome of every sporting event till the end of the century. All I have to do is bet on the winner and I'll never lose. So I said, what's the catch? He says, no catch, just keep it a secret. After that, he disappeared. I never saw him again. Who was Hiram Abiff? Every Freemason, and indeed anyone interested in Freemasonry, must have asked themselves that question at some point. In Masonic teachings, Hiram Abiff is the architect of King Solomon's temple, and his story is one of faithfulness and death before dishonour. But more than that, Hiram Abiff, or Adoniram, as he is known in some texts, is the template of excellence in Freemasonry and appears throughout the centuries in many Masonic degrees in various guises, lessons and references. Oh, and he told me one more thing. He said someday a crazy wild-eyed scientist or a kid may show up asking about that book. And if that ever happens... A figure of virtue, justice, skill and honour. If Freemasonry has a hero, that hero is Hiram Abiff. In craft Freemasonry, the third degree or raising is 
for many Masons, an extremely moving and symbolic experience. Central to the degree is the figure of Hiram, and so important is he that it seems necessary to understand Hiram to truly understand Freemasonry itself. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought it would be you. Yeah, well, Biff, you're forgetting one thing. What the hell is that? This book aims to explore this key yet mysterious figure in Masonry from a historical, symbolic and sociological point of view. The book not only reveals the exact biblical references to Hiram, but it also draws on other scriptures to give a clear picture to the reader about what has been said in original sources. Armed with the above, the author applies this understanding to the teachings surrounding Hiram in the various forms and roles of Masonic ritual that appear, exploring and explaining the symbolism throughout. The author then goes on to compare Masonic teachings with other ceremonial traditions that involve a slain and risen figure Take a look at what happened. Some with striking similarity to the enactment of the story of Hiram performed in each and every Masonic Lodge. Drawing on his extensive historical and anthropological knowledge, the author takes us on a tour examining countless traditions across the world and showing the reader what possible links there could be to the secret rites of the Knights Templar the ancient Egyptian traditions of Osiris or the Greek Adonis, as well as the traditions from the very time of King Solomon himself. money that is being expended by Satan and his minions to implement his agenda. future that Ernest Klein, the writer of the book, envisioned. I was very careful with Ernie collaborating with me every step of the way to be able to find the movie narrative inside this dense forest of Ernie's profound imagination. The Oasis being the ultimate toy box with all the toys in the world and then playing that with one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. 
it results in just amazing action and such a fun adventure. Ernest Klein is such a visionary and I think has seen the future before any of us possibly could even imagine it.